Hi, I'm Mark, and this is a Life Between Lives session. This can be used after you've experienced a number of past life regression sessions, including observing the death experience, leaving the body, and connecting with spirit guides for a life review. Now, this session lets you spend an extended time in the dimensions between reincarnations. We can ask more of your spirit guides to get a bigger picture of your soul's lessons across many lifetimes. We can use this session to meet members of your soul group and request meetings with higher councils of soul guides. We can find out reasons for the lives and situations you chose to be born in this time. This can help you with future lives you may take, the people you can reconnect with, and the lessons you can complete. We can use the literal or symbolic teaching stories to explore the possibility of dimensions between lives. It's not necessary to have a belief in reincarnation or the existence of other realms. Just allow your subconscious mind to come to the forefront and use its wisdom in a way that's acceptable to you. Focus on your breathing. With each breath, going deeper and deeper within, connecting with your inner relaxation, deeper within into the feelings of deep relaxation with each breath taking you deeper and deeper let that relaxation flow into your muscles so as you breathe, you relax your muscles, relax the muscles in your face, relax your jaw, relax your neck. Relax your whole head and relax into a comfortable, enjoyable relaxation. Relax the muscles in your shoulders. Let any sense of tension or weight on your shoulders lighten for now. Relax your back. Relax your core. Relax the muscles of your arm. Feel your arms and fingers become more loose, limp, and relaxed. Relax the muscles of your legs. Feel your legs and feet. Become more loose, limp, and relax. Relax the muscles of your whole body. 
Now, feel all the muscles of your whole body become more relaxed, lighter, connecting with your inner relaxation, going deeper within into the feelings of deep relaxation with each breath, taking you deeper and deeper. Now, Imagine, visualize or feel a light flowing down through the top of your head, a healing, loving, wise light, energy that can bring peace to every molecule of your body. Let that light flow into your body and imagine it has a color. What color will you discover? Or a white or a transparent light? Let the light flow into your face and your jaw. Let the light flow into your neck and your throat. So your whole head fills with this healing, loving, wise light energy that can surround you now and flow within you and go deeper. Let the light flow into your shoulders and flow down your back. Notice if it can Sparkle. Or tingle. And fill your core. Notice how that light can flow through your spine. From the base of your neck down to the base of your spine. Let the light flow through your chest. Let the light flow through your lungs so it spreads through every cell of your body with every breath. Let the light flow through your heart center, connecting with a healing, loving, wise energy in your heart that can spread through every cell of your body. With every heartbeat. Let the light flow 
into your legs, flowing through your hips, down through your upper legs, flowing down through the lower legs, filling every cell and fiber with calm. Flowing to your feet, going deeper within, into the feelings of deep, healing, calm. You can scan and discover the most relaxed part of your body and send that energy to each part of your body. So it's like you are reclining in a healing temple. You can imagine it may seem familiar and notice a crystal above you that can send energy to your chakras with the colors swirling open energy that's wisely guided by your super consciousness that can see your body from a distance now translucent and accepting of the spiritual dimensions of your being, so a healing energy can flow through your energy bodies, healing and strengthening within an interdimensional healing temple. For your immaculate, immortal, spiritual body, you may have noticed already the tendency for your eyeballs to move upwards and inwards towards your eyebrow center so their relaxed attention can move towards the center of your forehead so you can imagine looking up through a window in the crown of your head to the ceiling above you. What would it look like to imagine seeing yourself reclining from a point of awareness on the ceiling? And if you could keep going and float through the ceiling, opening and revealing, knowing that the spacious blue of day is just a layer concealing, then revealing the clear darkness of space that exists purely to house an infinity of meadows of stars and galaxies of light continually expanding and shining with light from many stars that no longer exist, yet their energy from light years ago still shines for us to see and your past life selves no longer exist in the body and yet the energy can stay with and affect us. And you know in this body the atoms of your brain can remind you of solar systems with billions of electrons 
orbiting billions of nuclei as you transform in this life you have been a baby you have been a child your cells grow and change and you have been a teenager and there are times you can feel the energy of change within you tingling right through you a warm vibrating enjoyable energy in each cell of your body now strengthening and energizing you for your journey of accepting insights from past life influences and the periods between lives. Imagine a staircase and let this be a staircase that goes up. So you can go up, rise up, higher and higher, like a stairway into the sky, or up into a place of spacious radiance, so you can notice the colours or textures whether it's white or light, like marble or like clouds that magically move you effortlessly higher with every step, like your thought to walk takes you up the staircase. And let it be 20 stairs that you can go up each step, each number with one, going up the stairs with two, becoming more aware with three, four, your awareness expanding, five, six, as you go higher with seven, eight, and the higher you go, the more your view opens up, so with night, you're less part of the world dramas down there, ten, up higher, eleven, you can breathe easier and freer, twelve, higher, thirteen, Fourteen, as you approach a dimension where your superconscious mind can tell you about the conditioning in your subconscious mind. Fifteen, up to a place. Sixteen, where you can request your spirit guides to help you. Seventeen or request a spiritual counsel to help you. 18. Request members of your soul group to meet and help you with 19. As you get ready to step up into a place of light, peace and wisdom, that's it, with 20. Now, opening and stepping into this place, be there, whether it's like a white soft cloud, leading into a pristine crystal temple or a light, colourful garden, or a spacious place beyond material form of glowing, wise energy. 
imagine or discover you can be greeted by a spirit guide or a member of your soul group like a beloved family member who had passed over. Being in this place means you can recall or relive any experience you've ever had in any past life and in the space between lives so you can see the big picture and look down and see the patterns that play out over many lifetimes and be guided by your spirit guides, a spiritual council or your soul group members who can explain the progress you have made in your major spiritual lessons and the spiritual lessons you can continue to learn. And you are here because you're ready to gain insights into your life between lives to gain even more wisdom about your past life experiences. So hear your inner voice say to your higher self, I request teachings from the dimension between lifetimes. I request teachings from the dimension between lifetimes. So hear your inner voice say, to your higher self. I request teachings on the dimension between lifetimes. I request teachings on the dimension between lifetimes. So now with every breath your mind is preparing itself to access spiritual teaching on the dimensions between lifetimes so you can learn more about your life between lives. What is your primary interest in the dimension of life between lives today? Do you want to meet members of your soul group? People who you have known in this life but have passed on? Do you want to meet members of your soul group? Your soul group consists of an inner and outer circle of souls that reincarnate and interact with you over many lifetimes. Do you want to spend more time with your spiritual guide to get more clarity about past life experiences you discovered during other regressions? Do you want to request an audience with your spiritual council who are a group of the most senior souls who oversee your spiritual development over many lifetimes? Now bring to mind your major question or reason to explore the dimension of life between lives. Breathe and relax into the protecting cocoon of light around you and let the light flow through you and glow all around you. So into this light you can request to be taken to a special place like a room in a temple of spiritual learning where you can have 
an extended time with your spirit guide, spiritual counsel, or soul group members. So now make that request, whichever it be, I ask for teachings from my spirit guide, from my spiritual counsel, from my soul group. And it doesn't matter if you can see or hear or feel that spiritual guidance come forth. Either way, they can hear and assist you in understanding the bigger picture of your spiritual journey across many past lives in this dimension of life between lives. So allow them to come to the forefront now. Can you greet them? If you'd greet them by a name, what would that be? If they would agree to you by your spiritual name, what could that be? In this place of spiritual teaching, in a part of the dimension of the life between lives, notice what it's like to be beyond the duality like age and gender as you greet whatever spiritual guidance can come tune in to the sights sounds or feelings and let it flow like a movie And any of these types of guide can help you understand your past lives and soul's purpose at an even deeper level. So you can return to events of a past life regression experience and you can get an advanced commentary and teaching from your guide. And which past life regression can you focus on and go deeper into today? Could it be a past life relating to relationships with family, friends, rivals, romantic relationships or soulmates? Or Relating to healing, to your body and your weight, to fears or phobias. Or centered around your personal development, your career or occupation, your emotional growth, your journey as a healer, or your spiritual path. Now imagine from this dimension of life between lives, it's like you can look down to the earth or review a movie screen that shows you stepping out of your tunnel and into a past life scene you've experienced before that's useful for you to review today. With five. Your guide selecting the right scene to teach you. Four, about the patterns across lifetime. Three, coming into focus. So, two, letting one come up now. 
Recall the scene from your previous past life regression. You could get impressions of a few scenes. Or from new past life. See that body from an external view. Or looking out through those eyes. Seeing what you see. Hearing what you hear. What is your gender? Age. Your race. What are you doing there? That's it. Go with your first automatic reactions. And let it flow into a movie. Play it forward. What actions are you taking? What reactions do you get? What is the location? What is the time period? What happens next? Play it forward. Reviewing your thoughts. and emotions. Who are the significant people around you? Are they connected to your present life? How did that life end? Play it forward to a point where you've got the main pieces of the jigsaw puzzle so you get the general big picture. Can you recall more of the death process? Are you first met by loved ones you knew in your life who had passed and are in your soul group? Do they explain your death and welcome you? giving you information and comfort. What happens after a violent or early death? 
Is there a recovery process? Does your primary spirit guide take you through a replay and review of that life? Does your spirit guide take you to a council of senior spirits who advise you on the progress you made and the work you still have to do? Does the Council of Senior Spirits give you options about your next lifetime, the people you can meet again, the challenges and opportunities that can be available for you to grow? Do you join with your soul group? Can you re-meet many other souls you have reincarnated with over many lives? Can this include those close to you in an inner circle? Can this include many more you know, but less well, in an outer circle? Now focus your perspective on the place of spiritual teaching. Now you can have extended time with your spirit guide, spiritual counsel, or senior spirit guides, or soul group members. You can ask them questions like, what were the main lessons from that life or lifetimes? What lessons have you made good progress in? In which lessons do you need to make more progress? How are patterns repeating across past lives? and into your modern life. What 
is the most important spiritual lesson for you to learn in this life. How have the challenges in this life and previous lives given you opportunities for spiritual growth? What can you do to resolve issues from past lives now? What is the theme of this present life? For example, does this life require you to have the strength to stay and be accepting and forgiving of others? Does this life require you to have the strength to lead the way and make changes to inspire others? How could you describe the theme of your present life? Now we can look at another past life, and this could most likely be your most recent past life. So imagine again, looking down or looking at a movie screen that can show you stepping out into a past life scene that's most useful for you today with five your guide selecting the right scene to teach you, with four, about the patterns across lifetimes, with three, coming into focus, so two, and letting one come up now, stepping into the most recent past life, You could get impressions of a few scenes and let one come into focus. See that body from an external point of view and see if you can look through those eyes. Seeing what you see, hearing what you hear, what is your gender? Your age? Your race? What are you doing there? Go with your first automatic reactions. Guess, sense, or no. What is happening there? What is the location and time period? Play it forward. What happens next? Who are the significant people around you? How are they connected to your modern life? How did that life end? 
How can you summarize what you experienced then in a sentence? Play it forward to a point where you've got the main pieces of the puzzle, enough to get the general big picture. Review again the moment of leaving that physical body and entering into the spiritual body that can take you into the dimension of the life between lives. Focus your perspective on this place of spiritual teaching so you can ask the spiritual beings what were the main lessons from that life or lifetimes? What lessons have you made good progress in? In which lessons do you need to make more progress? How are past patterns repeating across lives and into your current life? What is the most important spiritual lesson for you to learn in this life? How do the challenges in this life and previous lives give you opportunities for spiritual growth? What can you do in your current life to resolve past life influences? Now we can look at your current life. You may recall the time just before your birth. Were you given options of a number of births you could take? What were they? Why did you choose your current life parents? Who were other soul group members you agreed to meet? You may recall agreeing to take on challenges to benefit others or your soul group. You may recall the sense of connection and recognition you felt when you first met people in this life whom you had agreed to meet with as souls in the dimension of life between lives. So now we can go back to a scene just before this life 
not to a time in a past life, but to a time when you had been meeting with your spiritual counsel or spirit guides and agreeing what you would do in this life with five. Your guides can help you with the appropriate moment to choose. So with four, the things that brought you into this current life. Three, coming in to focus your time as a soul between lives before this life. Two, almost there, ready with one, so be there now. Notice the most recent time you are in the dimension of life between lives. Notice how long you stayed in this dimension at that time. Were you there for a longer time to do some duties or study? Were you there for a shorter time because that was more suitable for the timing of joining your next incarnation? Did you examine alternative lives you could lead before choosing your present life? Were you shown something like a book with alternative paths that could have been taken? Why did you choose this current life? And you can find these levels of highest wisdom can be available to you more and more in daily life. And it integrates smoothly so you get the message from beyond time and come back more present in the moment. You can reconnect with your spiritual wisdom from your times in the life between lives dimension and bring that more into this life. So inhale and say to yourself, I reconnect with my life between lives spiritual wisdom. I reconnect with my life between lives spiritual wisdom. You can reconnect with your life between life, spiritual wisdom, and bring it more into your life, more and more. So as I count from five down to zero, you can let this sink deeper and deeper into your subconscious mind with five. Reconnecting with your life between lives, spiritual wisdom. Four, with every breath, deeper and three, this realization and connection goes deeper and two, the deepest levels of yourself merging into one. Now, with zero, you have reconnected with your life between lives, spiritual wisdom, so you can continue your journey as a soul, clearer and stronger now. Imagine taking this new understanding and peace into your current life. How can this positively enhance your life? 
Imagine a few days or weeks in the future, or three, a time in the near future coming into focus. So let one come up now. In that moment, are you inside or outside? Are you alone or with people? How is your relationship with people better now? How is your relationship with yourself better now? How is your relationship with the world better now? So wrap up that situation feeling good, so you can move into the future feeling lighter and more at peace with every breath. Knowing what you know now, is there any guidance you can get on the selection of your next life? Are there any things you need to do to complete your soul's journey? Are there any people you need to meet to complete your soul's journey? Tonight, just before you go to sleep, if you like, you can say to yourself, Tonight, I'll sleep well and have dreams about the life between lives dimension. And when I wake up in the morning, I can recall the dreams I've had about the life between lives dimension. And you can stay still in your bed and watch your breath and feel the relaxation and stay still in your body and replay and review the dreams you had. You find the wisdom from the life between lives dimension comes more easily and automatically into your current life now through dreams if you like and through a wise peace that flows through into your waking life too. So now we can thank your higher self, spirit guides, soul group and spiritual counsel for their help and ask they help you to integrate this life between lives session into your daily life so that any time you think of this session it just helps you become more wise, peaceful and free in the now. So in a moment I'll count you up to five. And at five, you can come back fully into the moment, fully into the body, connected, aware, feeling good with one, aware of your body. Two, coming back fully into this time and place with three, aware of the room around you with four, moving your fingers and toes, coming all the way back with five, Feeling good, so the eyes can open, coming back refreshed and aware, 
with one, two, three, four, five, all the way back, eyes open, feeling good. 